my name is Cuppy Kate and welcome back to Zoo Quest. Happy Friday, everybody. Oh, so happy to get back to work on this exhibit. We are literally picking up right where we left off. Like literally, I'm recording this within the same session. Exciting! So we designed the inside a little bit. We're going to be adding some stuff for Andy in just a moment. But first, I kind of want to figure out what to do right here because I don't want to be building around Andy. I want Andy to be in there and be happy because building around an animal causes for potential escapes to happen and we definitely don't want that. Okay, so I kind of want to see what's going on here. Boop, boop. If we kind of want to do the same thing that we have been doing, we can. Oh, you know what? We're going to have to do this, though. Boop, boop. Uh, let's, let's do this because the other exhibit's going to be right here. Boop. I need more now! Good thing I have plenty of sandstone. And it's turning nighttime, don't panic. Okay. Boy, I love the variation we have going on here. It looks really, really nice. And I have no idea what this exhibit's gonna be. It may not even follow the theme that we've had before. We might have to make it though, because otherwise this is gonna look really odd <laughs> and non-cohesive at all. The only way we could fix that is if this part wasn't a window. So we could possibly end up doing something like that. But we gotta sleep. Oh no, <laughs> zombies, leave me alone. Don't come hurt me, zombies. <laughs> e. Oh, thank goodness. I was so stressed I had a nose itch. Okay, so then I remember we talked about adding a roof over there. And these pillars are sincerely bothering me. I know that we're going to move the wall back, so I probably shouldn't be bothered. But I'm bothered. I'm really bothered by it. E. E. Yeah, it just screams icky to me. We may honestly only be able to back this wall up once. Which would still be fine. It would still be better than this right here. Let's see. Alright, we're doing it, guys. It's demo day! <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Gotta love demo day. <laughs> when you do it right, goodness. I didn't do it right that time. Look at all the sandstone we're getting. Yay! So now I have to decide if I want to back the wall all the way up or just to here. To here honestly might be better. Because then I won't have to worry about like what happens if I put the floor there? <laughs> and then we could keep some of the pillars, but only some. Because some of them, like, they're super redundant. Look at how many there are. That's ridiculous. Mmm. I like that one in the middle. That one looks good. This one is redundant. Right here. Super redundant. This one's not really in the right spot, technically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's get rid of this, right? Okay. Let's get rid of that. Cool. Unlocked recipes. Don't like that. That whole roof will probably change, but alas, that's fine for now. <laughs> huh. Oh my gosh, I already love that so much better. Except we're still probably going to change it. <laughs> Guys. Forgive me! <laughs> 
I want to make a good look on at least one side so I know how to do it on the others. Like here. Okay, we want we want this, right? Right. Yeah, so they should be on every third is how I see it. Because that makes the most sense to me, anyway. How do we have it on this outside again? Oh, it's every, it's every three. Right. Okay, that also makes sense. Oh, so like if we had this here, right, right, and that's in the middle. Well, what's on each? Oh, oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. Okay, so technically, the way that we have it then is where there's not a pillar there. There would be a pillar right here, right? So like this, and then... I don't mind using the smooth sandstone. It's not my favorite, but I don't hate it. I don't hate this like layering thing that we've got going on. It's not, it's not super bad, right? Okay. That kind of works, right? So then we don't have a pillar here. Eh. Eh. And eh. Go away. Okay. But what we do have... He... Bless you, my love. We have that. And then it comes over. And we have... Like so. Like so. Oh, I love that so much better. Yes. Okay, and these outer ones are honestly fine. We might just like change these out for something different. But that looks better for the most part. And then if we do end up backing up this wall as well, it would look even better. Okay, I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. Ooh, I think I'm getting a little uh, complicated in here. But oh well. <laughs> I think here we're going to actually have two that are open. Because that looks really good, having the uh, that little nudge thingy sticking up where it's supposed to. This is a little convoluted right here. Don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it kind of still works, guys. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many options. I guess it kind of depends on how we decide to do the roof part here, right? Because I want the roof to go in here as well. <sighs> Which means this whole thing may not have mattered, like, at all. Dang. How do I want to do the roof? I do want them to have roofs rather than being open because we get sandstorms. So I want to protect our little animals. I'm just trying to decide how I want to do the roof. Do I want it to be low like this or do I want it to be up high? Because we could make it up high, we would just have to raise everything up one, which is not a big deal. Like it could be up here. Guys, 
Yes, I'm so indecisive. You know what? We'll try out both and we'll see which one we like better. Oh my gosh, guys. I just figured out what was causing the clipping. It's architecture craft. <laughs> That's why it clips so bad on Boot Island because I use it a lot for railings. Okay. That changes things a little bit. Um... So we need to be very careful how much architecture craft we use if that's what's been causing the clipping the whole time. Because it was fine until I started doing it. Hold on. No, I guess it's fine. I have no idea what was going on. Weird. Maybe it's just me. Okay, I can already say that I don't like this because you really don't get to see the glory of this architecture. It gets completely covered when we do it this way. So, since that is the case, we're going to have to find something different. Okay, so I did end up liking this a lot better, even though it comes up flush against the fence, which on this side doesn't look super appealing. On the other side, it kind of looks really cool, like an extra barrier. And then here, what we're going to do is we're going to end up adding these. I love this Celtic string look. I think it looks so very pretty. So very, very pretty. And then what we can do is do that. That looks super cool. I love that. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I'm trying to decide if I want to do it along the bottom as well and change out all the pillars. <laughs> Ooh, would that be too much to change out all the pillars? What does it look like? Is it too much Celtic? I feel like it adds a little too much Celtic for the, uh, for the design we're going here, but gosh, guys, that looks so good. That looks incredible. What do I want to do? Mm, I'd almost rather just change them all out to that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Okay, yeah, that, that was worth the change right there. I love this, guys. We will probably end up um, not changing the roof too much, but like... You see where it breaks right there? That looks very incohesive. So we'll probably fix that a little bit. But otherwise, the roof isn't going to change very much. But this makes me feel so much better. Seeing this the way that it is, where you get the full barrier line. I just love that. And then for here, we might actually just take this out and bring the glass up one and just bring the whole ceiling over. I think that's what we're going to do. That, that, that's not wood. <laughs> Silly me. That's not wood. Ooh, is that going to look weird though? It was really more this that I was concerned with. I, you know what? I have a way to fix this. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I think I fixed it where I'm a lot happier now. And then we can keep putting these in. Oh, this is going to look so good, you guys. I need to figure out how I want to do that one spot over there. I'm talking about this. We could just do like a stair. Or like a full block and then a stair. Full block and then a stair. I'm confusing my tools, guys. I'm trying to use axes when pickaxes are needed, and I'm trying to use pickaxes when axes are needed. Can't keep my life straight, apparently. Um, we could. I love the creeper symbol. I don't know why. The creeper symbol just makes me smile.
That's pretty cool. And then the stair. I wish I had a better stair. <laughs> I'm not allowed a better stair unless I make one. Bummer. Oh yeah, that looks a little bit better. I can't help but notice that this is a little bit paler in some areas, but you know, they did a really good job and I can't complain. Like it, it looks good enough. And unless you're looking really, really closely, it's hard to tell. Oh my gosh, it's happening! Okay, back to work. Filling in the ceiling. Oh my gosh, guys, we're gonna get Aruba in here today. We're gonna do it today. All right, so the inside of Aruba Andy's exhibit is pretty much enclosed. I'm not gonna be changing anything else in here besides just this stuff down here. I'm probably gonna get rid of the water and we'll be adding a door so we can get in and out of this exhibit with ease. I'm totally leaving this pebble here because that is adorable. I wanna go ahead and start kind of making that little burrow area. And it will go underneath, but I think that's okay. I mean, I guess the other option would be to, you know, actually, okay. Hang tight, guys. I need to make some space in my inventory. I made some space, and I was thinking, the nice thing about sandstone is it does still look pretty natural. The top of it itself is almost a little too smooth-ish. But what we can do is we can take some sand. Oh, I need more sand. I can't believe I had to say that. I need more sand. Gimme, give gimme. Give so what we can do is I can like come in here kind of like this. I don't really wanna be right up against the glass though if that makes sense. We can do just this regular, the regular sandstone. There it is. Like that, right? Put some, ooh, nope, 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 nope. We can put some sand on top of it. No! No! Glass, I need you, come back. There we go. At least this flat glass is breakable. <laughs> All right. So like that, right? That way that's kind of a safe burrow down there. I can make half slabs out of sand too. I need to remember that I can do that. And I bet they don't fall. Guys, I just had a, a like, a brilliant idea. Also, there's probably a way that I can just make sand stairs. No, I lied. It's fine. I wonder if that's gonna cause problems though. This will definitely be an interesting test. Hopefully this doesn't break everything. Everything. So fun story, I was just looking at the Aruba Island Desert uh, area and it looks amazing. <laughs> it looks like so much fun, you guys. It's actually not as desertous as you would think. It has some pretty like vegetation. Now it's all very arid vegetation. It definitely looks like it belongs in a desert for sure. But still, I was like, wow, this is actually gorgeous. And I was thinking I should go visit there one day. I highly encourage you guys to look up um, pictures of the desert on Aruba Island. Oh, this looks so good. This looks so good. Like that. <gasps> yes. You know what? We are going to take this out. I wouldn't even know how to get that, actually. <laughs> there we go! Oh my gosh.
gosh, guys. It looks really good. This would be a great little place for our snake to hide out for sure. I do think mm, we might have to change that out for some stairs instead. Or at least that needs a stair. One of those. I'm going to make a few more. We're going to clean this up a little bit and then I will be back. And there we go. There is going to be Andy's little burrow. And we'll be able to add some vegetation. I think over here I'm going to add this. Just a little bit of variation for us here. Uh, let's do all the way up here. And that. Beautiful! So now I kind of want to bring in maybe uh, a few pieces of what looks like uh, sandstone that's been broken up into pieces, giving some rock formations, and then vegetation time, you guys! Alright, so now we're in here to put in plants, and mind you, I'm going to have to double check to see if plants do damage now. <laughs> I know the yuccas don't, and I know they're vibrant in color, but as I was looking at those pictures of the desert on um, Aruba Island, they were pretty vibrant and green. Even though, yes, it was very rocky and very sandy, there was still a lot going on green-wise. Where did I put my... Yucca, I still need you. Come here. Thank you. There was also like bits of grass and dried grass everywhere. So I wanted to see, there's the yucca flower. Now does it go on top of this? No, so the yucca flower must go on top of the soap tree yucca. What does that look like? Not like that. <laughs> so it's not this one then. Okay, now do these hurt? Oh good, so these do not appear to be painful. That makes me really happy. Oh, the soap tree yucca is so pretty, you guys. I wanted to put cactus in here um, because there are so many like pretty cactus uh, cactus pictures, but it's just it's just gonna be deadly, so we can't do that. Oh, it's its own thing. It's its own thing. So there's the yucca with no flower, and then there's the yucca with flower. Okay. In that case, I would rather have more of these, honestly. And do uh, a one soap tree. Yes, this looks good. This looks good. Mayhaps here. That also looks good. Guys. So then there's this tall grass. Ooh, okay, so that's really pretty. Where do we want to put this? Hmm. Like so? Maybe we'll put a dead bush here. I like that. And then... Ooh, this is looking really good! I don't know if I like the bright green up there in that corner. We're going to have to kind of organize this where it all fits. And I'm not loving the soap tree, honestly. I thought I would, but I just don't. I do love these, though. I want to get a cactus, but I want to get one that's safe. We need safe cactus, guys. I like the grass there. We can trickle it over into this side. At least the yellow of this grass matches the yucca to a degree. Oh, that looks good. Now what about this? Ooh, that's pretty too. Okay. <laughs> We've got problems. Let's go take a nap and we'll continue. See, I just love the look of those together. I just, my only worry is I need to be somewhat careful because we want some variation in, like, up-downs, if that makes sense. 
And to get that variation, we're going to have to kind of like play with things here. Um, I'm going to go make some more sand slabs. Okay, that's looking pretty good. We'll save this other stuff for later. We've got a couple of soap spoons. We've got plenty of the stud grass. We've got some yucca going. I want some much shorter grass and maybe another dead bush. Let's see. We don't have any of that. I do have tiny cactuses and we know those don't hurt. We might try adding those. What is this? Did we try these and the tumbleweed? Mm, let's see if the tumbleweed we might could put up here just for some variation. Ooh, that looks good. I like the tumbleweed look. We could add a tumbleweed in here. What are these? Oh, those look way too green. That's way too green. You honestly look way too green too there. Hmm. still work though oh no that looks really pretty and they don't hurt that's my favorite part is that they don't hurt yay happy day well there goes my pants I'm officially pantsless you guys you gotta love it those are really pretty okay I'm just looking for a couple of other things that we can put in there oh there's a dead bush right there Perfect. I would love maybe one more tumbleweed. Perfect. And just some short grass. <gasps> aloe vera. We should totally put aloe in there. Would that be too much? Would it? it we could use that instead of the grass. Let's do it. All right, I went ahead and put the door on. So the door is official. I have one more dead bush that I want to put somewhere. Maybe here, just for some extra coverage for our little sweet Andy. We need one more tumbleweed somewhere. I think here might be a good idea for some variation. And then we have some aloe which I will kind of just put in uh, a few various places around. Oh, this is going to look great, you guys. Should we have one more bone? I think one bone is enough. We can totally get Andy in here now. Wait a second. The tiny cactus does hurt indeed. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Boop. Boop. That was a big nope. So we're not going to play that game. I thought the aloe vera hurt for a second, and I was like, how? How on earth does it hurt? In that case, we might grab one more tubbleweed. And I just put the heat lamp in. I stole the one from the Egyptian themed one since we don't have a cobra yet and it's not being used. So I figured it would come in here and it would be great for Andy. We are officially going to get Andy to put... I need to check what gender you are, dear. Oh, well, Andy is ready to go! Okay. Here comes your new home, Andy. We do need to put a food barrel in here, which I think I'm going to stick right down there once we finally get it. But we can go ahead and put Andy in here and we'll add the food barrel next time. There you go, Andy, your exhibit. What do you think? Oh my gosh. How are you doing, love? Tell me. Tell me. So Andy is a boy, good. So he is very happy here. Andy, you are so precious, look at you. You look so happy in your exhibit. There's the thumbnail right there. Okay guys, well that is way, way again over time that I had, I am pantsless. <laughs> Anyways, yep. I'm 
way over time for this episode today, but we did it. We made Andy an exhibit and all that's left is the food barrel. Yes. So if you liked this video, make sure you give the like button a tickle and a poke. Subscribe to join our family if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. Make sure to jingle the bell to get notifications of when I post new quests. Join our Discord to talk with me in the community every day. And follow me on Twitch so you can see me live. All right, guys. I love you. Thanks again for watching. And I will see you next time for more Zoo Quest. Bye.